Alonso, spring 1940. Lenin had been in Congress three years. President Roosevelt is on the move. This is the way it looks from the other side of the fence. But where he was going and what doing is lost in the mist of time. And here comes the big touring car called the Queen Mary. There are two of them. One full of secret service. The crowd awaits him. The motorcycles. The George Washington Monument. The Tidal Basin. Cherry Blossom time. The Jefferson Memorial is just being built now. And here is little Ann Thomas, the daughter of Congressman and Mrs. Albert Thomas of Texas. Swan boat. There's something irresistible about cherry blossom time. You just reach for your camera. Lyra and I, Mrs. Thomas, both took movies in those days. Lennon had given me my camera for Christmas, I think, of a 38 or 39. The Magnolia Solangiana in Anne, the match in color. some buildings, the Federal Reserve, and there's Ivo Sparkman, Mrs. John Sparkman of Alabama, in front of the Federal Reserve building by the fountain, which always looks so cool in the summertime. There's the public health building, the Placithia, first sign of spring. I used to wear up hairdo quite a lot then. And, and this uh, lilac was my own backyard. And this is a scene, two scenes, uh, up in the Arlington Cemetery. Ah, that most dramatic spot in all the town. Just as a picture taker, I'm proud of that one of the red azaleas. And here we are, the Pan American. and Mount Vernon. How well those founding fathers chose their home sites. I like the kitchen garden best of all. Here is the bell. There were always a spalier peach trees and fruit trees in the kitchen garden. And there goes the fence stretching across the beautiful rolling Virginia countryside, the front view that looked down to the Potomac and the ceaseless line of people and the sightseers' boat. There is Mrs. Nan Wood Honeyman, who was a congressman from the far northwest, Portland, Oregon, I believe. And there's Mrs. Jim Kane with her first child, Stephanie. Dr. Jim Kane, was he, hadn't even gone to the war in those days. And there's a Kitty Mae, Ida Mae Kane's mother, Kitty Mae Wirtz, with little Stephanie in front of the pink dogwood. I think that was down close to the shore. This was made at the Custis Lee Mansion in Arlington. Uh, that lovely wisteria arbor, it is no longer there. And the double cherries. So much richer and deeper pink than the single kind, but not perhaps as graceful. 
pansies and the tulips and the white dogwood, and there's the British Embassy. And the Venezuelan Embassy on Massachusetts Avenue. And there's the Japanese Embassy. It was not too long afterward when Pearl Harbor came that this embassy had to be guarded against crowds that wanted to attack it. Here we are on our way to Texas, traveling by car, stopping to see everything of interest. The home of Andrew Jackson, the Hermitage. Cedars, but they like the Cedars of Lebanon for always the, the, the mark of a house site of old timers in the South. Someone said they're a sign of hospitality. Look at the lovely boxwood. A side view. Ah, uh, and there he is, buried by his beloved Rachel. In the flower garden out by the side of the hermitage. My trips to Texas were always dotted by long stops at anything interesting.